Millie, Rust, and the mugshots all escaped through the East Tunnel. It's closed off now. We've heard from several sources now that the police commissioner had ordered a lockdown. I was starting to wonder, was it to keep everyone at bay till they catch the person responsible? Or was it to maybe keep someone out? It's too big of a coincidence that all of this started to happen at the same time I left the city. And now, I find myself unable to return. I've come across the Mugshot Brothers, but as expected, they were uncooperative. Wise guys. Reasoning with them is a fruitless effort. However, the little information I got from them could be useful later. They seem nervous. I mean, more than usual. We found some clues around the house that could help us find Flint, but so far, everything is leading nowhere. I've examined the evidence myself, but can't connect the dots yet. It seems appropriate that the last case in my career would be like this. Everyone knows the story. The detective only has a couple of days till retirement, but then, the lady in distress shows up and begs him to help her out. He decides, against all reason, to do this one last thing. But the case proves to be his hardest yet. Somewhere down the line, the detective gets shot. Fade to black. We had a run-in with the main suspect. The man in the red hood. Unfortunately, we were too late. It's sad what happened to Millie. And Amber really lost it for a moment. I did all I could and gave her a promise that I'd catch the man responsible. It's not much, but it's the least I can do. We had to table all of our options, and we decided to go back to Paper City. I have an informant there that could know some things, and that's our best bet at the moment. Red, it seems, wants to get to Amber, so I figured I'd draw him out. Best place to do that is the city. I need to level the field, coordinate with the police, and to set a trap. After we get him cornered, I'll make him talk, and we'll find out what happened to Flint. Let's just hope it's not too late. It's a candle, forgotten here, until the lights go out. Then it's like, oh, where are those candles we keep in the house? I'll take it with me, just in case. Maybe I'll need to read in the dark at some point or something. The convertible of desks. Very chic. It's locked. Hey, the key fits. Let's see what we have in here. Vial of ink. It's a vial of ink. Boy, this desk must be really old. Who uses ink anymore? I'll take the ink with me. If we wake up in 1789 tomorrow, I'll be all set. There's a policeman. We should go and ask him a couple of questions. I mean, he is a cop, so he's probably even more clueless than us. It's worth a shot, though. A bucket. That's a funny word. Bucket. Bucket. It's filled with attic stuff. Christmas decorations and whatnot. Are you hungry, horsey? Ted, do we have a wooden carrot for him? Just some random attic stuff you'd usually find in an attic. There we have an old bean can. Is it empty? Full? Who knows? The mystery is part of the fun. Then there's some bag of something. Flour, maybe? A bunch of boxes filled with ugly clothes? It's filled with towels, I think. Or sheets or something. It acts as the last line of defense between the housemates and the harsh environment outside. A bucket. That's a funny word. Bucket. Bucket. 
Poor thing, I bet he feels so alone up here. Good evening, officer. Oh, my God, Miss Ashworth. Is that really you? I must say, I've only seen you in the papers, but you look even better in person. Stop, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> Oops, too late. Uh, no, but seriously, officer. Burke, Miss Ashworth, but you can call me Brian. Okay, Brian, we need to enter the city. You see, we're working on this case and we need to find a friend of ours. He might know some things. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Ashworth. I I'm afraid no one is allowed to enter the city at this point. Not even a beloved and well-known celebrity such as yourself. I'm so, so sorry. Well... So, so sorry. That's okay. So sorry. Aren't you a bit young to be a policeman? A police officer, actually. I'm fresh out of the academy, but I'm planning to make detective in a couple of years. Well, that's ambitious. Is that a fake mustache? Um, no. It is! It just fell on the floor. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm sorry. Everyone at the station has a mustache these days, and I just can't seem to grow one myself. My fiancé even makes fun of me sometimes. Well, I think you look just dashing without a mustache. It makes you look younger. Well, thank you kindly, miss. That's a tough deal, kid. You'll have a hard time becoming a detective if you don't have a mustache. But you don't have one, Mr. Bear. I'm a private snoop, Jimmy. I don't need to fit in. I walk my beat alone. Oh my god! Can't you make an exception to let us pass? Just this once. Mr. Bear, as much as I admire both you and Miss Amber, seriously, I'm a huge fan, but orders are still orders. Things are getting really bad down in the city. If anything were to happen to Miss Amber, I could never forgive myself. Dave, who ordered this lockdown? The state officials. Mayor Mills himself signed the decree. I'm afraid without the mayor's signature, no one is allowed to enter or leave the city at the moment. Uh, and it's Brian, sir. And how come the city is on lockdown anyways? I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss such matters, Mr. Bear. Terribly sorry. You haven't seen Flint Ashworth by any chance. Miss Ashworth's brother? That's right. Have you seen him? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I'm confused. That's understandable, son. You're a paper city police officer. Never mind that now. Stevie, do you know anything about the Red Man? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I really can't discuss such matters. Uh, I will tell you one thing, though. The word on the street is that the suspect, codename Red, is asking a lot of questions about Miss Ashworth. What kind of questions? What's so interesting about Amber, anyways? Hey! Don't worry, Miss Ashworth. You're the most interesting person I know. If I was a crazy lunatic with an agenda, I'd stalk you, too. Aw, uh Subscribe now. Do it. Yes, you. You right there.